hi guys hi everybody good evening good afternoon depending on where you are in the world my name is fifi rich and i welcome you to this greater impact corner affected by certain things in different ways and so for me the divorce of my parents as i was trying to figure it out growing up i was the child that never had answers but had so many questions so you can imagine how it was so and so is being picked up by mom and dad from school my friend so and so is picked up by mom and dad i don't have mom and dad to pick me up it's either mom or sometimes dad and some other <laughs> you know your partner another lady and i'm like what what's going on like can you guys just help me right now you know but i was the child that grew up with so many questions but no answers and i got to a point where growing up i started comfort eating apart from the gene of i think generally in, from my mother's side that women are quite big but for me i really believe that it's not just an issue of oh the body thinks it's genetically supposed to be like this but for me it was fueled more by comfort eating and i didn't know that i was comfort eating until later on in my childhood in my teenage years then when i figured it out that this is comfort eating i resort to eating because i am dealing with things and so food and eating more is what I had control over. That is what I would do in my particular case. This was my narcotic, my safe space, so to speak. When I never had control over why my dad left over, or why I don't have answers to some of these questions over, I feel abandoned. I have daddy wounds. God, why? Why would you let me go through this? And, and there's you know, been a lot of other things apart from that, but this is just to illustrate. And so I would do that. And that was my safe space. It's what I had control over. So if I pass through the kitchen and I'm just going through something, I'm going to grab something. If I pass back by the kitchen and I'm going through something, I'm going to grab stuff. You know, and so the weight piled up over time and i remember one time a certain friend of mine she was also a classmate i think i was in form two or grade nine she was like oh so you comfort eat we were talking about something and i remember she's like so you comfort eat i was like no i don't comfort eat because i didn't even know that what i was doing was comfort eating so you see sometimes we have the problem but we don't even know that it's there and we need somebody to help us to identify that i am doing this in response to something that's not going so well so this was my narcotic somebody else's narcotic might be alcohol people resort to alcohol they want to drink and they say they're drinking away their sorrows but really you're not drinking away your sorrows you are just drinking away your money you are temporarily just wasting your money because at the end of the day as you all know problems are still there you are gonna sober up and you're gonna have to deal with them again and then go back and get alcohol try forget for a minimal amount of time and then you know, so it just becomes a cycle but really you're not getting help the people will resort to drug and substance abuse cocaine marijuana like just all these drugs that you can think of other people will resort to finding comfort in relationships and they can abuse those relationships there are women that tend to feel that when there's a void in them maybe daddy wounds they don't have a good relationship with the father or they feel like they have been rejected or they have actually been rejected by their father maybe they were told i don't want you as a child as my child i just own you i don't want you you're not my child anymore i'm done i'm done with you guys and you know there's people that get told things like that for some women what they do they want to use relationships to fill the void and so such women they can't stay without a man in their life sometimes even sex sex becomes a thing where it's what makes them to feel a connection with somebody else it's what makes them to feel like there is a solution you know to the problem and it's what makes them feel like a void is being filled so you'll see that people resort to different things for relief to deal with the pains to deal with the issues so that is one of the things and so sometimes we just don't know it took me a while to realize no this is comfort eating and i'm comfort eating because i have some issues and then i decided after making the realization the power of realization is very important to realize in life you gotta realize things one of the ways in a position where you can realize things easily is when you learn to be in touch with yourself you know when you're not okay you know when you're okay you know 
when you have good vibrations something good is about to happen you know when you're not having very good vibrations you know when you're not having very positive vibrations something is probably about to happen maybe I'm about to get a, a traumatic situation maybe i'm about to hear some bad news or something like that and so it's very important when you can get with yourself separate yourself for some time spend some time alone I remember when i was doing my internship at at the country's media house with this colleague and she said you are a loner because every day I would like spend time in the common room. We had like different desks and we would share the office space. So I used to leave at some point just for some time, about maybe two hours or so before knocking off. And I just want to spend time alone. I used to take some strolls in the corridors of the building and just listen to messages, listen to, you know, words of encouragement from different men of God. And so she would say, you are alone. But that for me was very important. I had to just kind of disengage for some time relate with people disengage relate with people disengage and so i knew how to be with myself and i was i've always been quite in touch with myself it's not really hard to know when something is just off ish with me so it's something that i encourage you to learn to do it's something that you can learn not everything happens overnight it's a process working on yourself requires that you set time for it you are intentional about it you challenge yourself and within challenging yourself there are actions that you need to make steps to take towards getting with yourself getting to understand yourself better and if you need help with that please feel free to just let me know and i'll see how i can help you with that so the whole thing just leads me to saying the whole illustration that i was making about my parents divorce and how it affected me and things like that leads me to uh, the issue of so you have to learn to get with yourself spend time alone disengage and just get with yourself have some quiet time sometimes have time where you can meditate i learned about the value of meditation a bit later in my life but i value meditation all the same as long as you cannot get with yourself learn to just be by yourself really stay in tune with yourself chances are you're never gonna be able to navigate to the point of asking yourself the questions that you need to ask yourself okay my baby daddy left me for instance this is where i find myself what is happening what is the plan how do i get up how do i take care of my child or my children from here suppose your baby daddy doesn't want to take care of your children anymore doesn't want to support the children maybe you're not even working you have no source of income instead of spending so much time stressing and worrying about it you know developing anxiety over it why not get with yourself allow yourself to process what has happened allow yourself to process how it has affected you allow yourself to process the lessons you are learning allow yourself to ask yourself questions and those questions by all means look for answers to them because i learned that before a question is there is an answer and to every problem a solution i understand the solution is older than the problem you know that's how one man of god puts it and so yeah i am just here to encourage you to not be afraid to get with yourself and ask yourself the questions the real questions oftentimes it's hard but it's worth it in the end you gotta keep working you're a work in progress, I'm a work in progress, and we can do it, but we gotta put in the work, you know? So, I know a, a bodybuilder I love so much, his name is Kai Green, he says it's worth it to work, so keep working. You gotta get the work done, though. You gotta get the work done. So don't be afraid to ask yourself the questions that need to be asked. Then look for answers, look around you. Who can help you? Who's holding your answer? Somebody's holding your answer. No matter the question you're asking yourself, somebody has an answer. So don't be afraid to get with yourself. Sometimes we lack the courage because it's fearful, because we gotta go back to the dark places of our lives, the dark places in ourselves. But we gotta do it. Because otherwise, how will we grow? How will we evolve? How will we emerge? A lot of the time, people don't grow because they don't wanna deal with things. They don't grow because they don't wanna ask themselves the hard questions. They don't wanna tackle issues take the bull by the horn so i just want to encourage you don't be afraid remove all those skeletons from the closet dissect them in
can see the bones one from each other separate them name them you bone we are a bone of disappointment you bone we are a bone of hurt you bone we are a bone of unforgiveness you bone we are a bone of bitterness you bone we are a bone of anger okay i'm gonna deal with you bones i'm dealing with you guys you think that i'm never gonna get rid of you you think you're just gonna keep hiding in my closet out out with you guys now it's time it's time to deal with you and you just start addressing them finding solutions finding ways to tackle all these bones and may the dry bones live again <laughs> no but in this case it's not about dry bones living again it's about all those skeletons being you know attended to and, and confronted and you have to be courageous and bold to do it but it's worth it at the end of the day your people your loved ones your beloved they need you well and healthy so don't be afraid at least for the people that you love at least consider them don't just think about yourself how are you affecting people by not dealing with things how are people being impacted by you neglecting to deal with things to deal with issues are they not avoiding you are they not afraid to hang around you because you are this person with the issues the issues that you don't want to deal with so you see how sometimes not wanting to deal with some things not wanting to get with ourselves and ask ourselves some important questions can affect the relationships around us telling you you can just become avoided over silly little things pity pity small things people avoid you they don't want to hang around you and before you know it you feel unloved you feel like people don't want you people are rejecting you and yet that's not the case but it's just that you don't want to deal with some things you're running away don't run stop running away how long will you run where are you running to because the problem is inside you doesn't matter you get under the ocean it's there you get into a fire it's there you stand in the rain it's there you dive into a swimming pool it's there you go on top of a building it's there you climb a mountain it's there where are you running where are you running to how long will you run so certain things until we deal with them we cannot attract better things into our lives we have to do away with some things and then be in a position where we can attract better things bigger things higher quality things so that's it for today that's it from me for today whenever i want to talk for a little while i just end up taking some time but i think this is something that the holy spirit have wanted me to share with you today i hope this helped you let me know your thoughts in the comment section please give me your feedback i'd love to know how this program is adding value to your life adding value to the lives of your loved ones thank you so much until we meet again next week stay safe shalom good night